today I'm going to show you how to make um, a candle holder using a napkin and some Mod Podge. And this one's actually made in um, a jar that had a candle in it before, but I burned it all away. So I kept the jar and reused it. And you can go buy a glass jar to make one of these with, or you can just reuse whatever you can find around the house. So what I'm going to use is actually a pickle jar. We ate all the pickles, and so I'm going to recycle that. And I'm going to use this um, little napkin that I found at Target. And I, you can buy a whole pack for like two bucks. So this would be a good project to give away as gifts. So if you wanted to make a bunch and they're all the same, you can buy a pack of napkins and that would work just fine. However, maybe you want to make a bunch for yourself, but you want them all to be different. So, a little tip my mom always tells everyone is when you go to holiday parties, if they have a pretty napkin that you like, just take one and collect them from all the parties you go to, and then you'll have a bunch of different napkins to make candle holders with. Then they'll all be different and different, rather than buying entire packs of napkins. So, the thing we want to do first... We're going to use Mod Podge and we're going to use Matte Mod Podge. Um, I also have Sparkle Mod Podge, which actually has a really cool effect. And it puts glitter. I don't know if you can see the shine. But this glitter won't come off because it's part of the Mod Podge, which is really cool. Uh, you can also do these projects with tissue paper, which is what this is. This is actually tissue paper that I punched out with a circle punch in different colors and just layered them on each other. This is a vase, but you could do this as a candle holder too. I've done that before. You can also use colors of tissue paper and tear them, and that makes a really cool candle holder. And that's a good project you could do with little kids too because it doesn't have to be perfect and they can tear it and you know make a candle holder for grandma or someone that would appreciate such a gift. So I'm going to use this pickle jar here, and I'm going to use the regular Mod Podge first. And the first thing you want to do, if you're using a napkin, is be sure you separate the two pieces. A napkin is always two ply. So you want to carefully, if you can get it through the little perforations on the edge. There we go. So just carefully remove the backing. And the reason you want to do this is because when you're using the Mod Podge, if the backing is on it, once it gets wet from the glue, it'll start to separate and, and slip on top of each other and it'll make it harder to work with and it'll create more wrinkles in your project. And then what I'm going to do is cut this in half. Just be very careful with it because it's really thin. And this is about the right height for our jar here. And unfortunately, this one doesn't seem to wrap all the way around. So I think for this one what I might do is actually trim the birds apart and try and fit three of them on here. Um, what I did with the the penguin, and it all depends on your napkin, the penguin napkin doesn't have a picture on every corner. So what I did with it was I cut out one penguin panel and adhered that to the front and then I and then I used the panels with the candy canes on them to go around the back. So I only had one picture on this one. And then where it, where it overlapped, obviously you can see the overlap. I actually just cut a few strips of the extra leftover pink and made some more stripes to make it look like it's part of the design. And it also helped me cover up 
um, where my joints were between the pieces. So I'm going to cut this guy in half. And we'll just start with one bird and work our way around. It looks like we've got two that face in each direction. So we're just going to see where that takes us. And I think what I'm going to do actually is trim off a little bit of this excess. So my piece isn't quite, quite as large. So I use a brush instead of a foam applicator just because I don't the brush gives more and I don't really care for the foam applicators so you just generously apply this and a, a brush is really easy to clean out too you just use some soap and water as long as you don't let that Mod Podge dry in the brush I know some people buy the foam applicators so they can just toss them, but it's really not hard to, to wash this stuff out of the brush. I've used this brush many, many times to do this and paint and all kinds of stuff. I think that's wide enough. And what I'm going to do... I was just going to grab an acrylic block so I can set this here and it not roll. There we go. So I'm just going to gently put this on here. And it's not going to be perfect, you're going to have some wrinkles, but it's okay. It's going to turn out fine in the end with the wrinkles, trust me. It will be alright. And then you're just going to take the same Mod Podge and apply a coat over the top of it. And that can sort of start to smooth stuff out, but it's never going to be perfect. Don't make yourself crazy trying to make it perfect. In it actually kind of gives it a little character to not be perfectly smooth. And as long as you don't have any kind of giant folds in it that mess up your picture, it'll be alright. Alright, so I've I've covered mine completely. I got three birds on here. They overlap a little, but it'll be okay. And so you can see the glue is still really wet. And so I didn't use the, the sparkle mod podge on this one, but um it is pretty cool. I, I do recommend that if you don't want glitter all over your house. But I'm gonna use this. Martha Stewart uh, Crystal Coarse Glitter. But while it's wet, you can shake some of this on here. And it'll just stick. And then once it's dry, what you can do is just uh, take it over a trash can, I would suggest. And, um, and just run your hands across it and knock off all the glitter that didn't really stick down. I've never tried, and I don't know if you want to give it a try, go for it. I've never tried going back over the glitter with the Mod Podge. I don't know if it would all stick to the brush. I don't know if it would just seal it in there, sort of like the, the Mod Podge that has the glitter in it would do. Um, it might be worth trying just to experiment and see what happens. But you can sort of see 
the the sparkle from this glitter. This is a clear glitter. It doesn't have a color to it. So it'll sort of look like sugar all over. And that's what I did on this one. Ooh, got the candle inside. So it's, it just looks like a coating of sugar, which is, is really nice. It's just that some of it flakes off. So, and then you can finish off the top. As you can see, the top's going to, on this one, have threads because it's a pickle jar. So I'll probably tie a red ribbon around the top of this one. I probably won't do a sheer ribbon like I did here just because I want to hide what's up here. Um, but just finish off the top with the ribbon or tinsel or whatever. And you just get a, a votive candle or I guess you could try the... Uh, electric candles if you have kids in the house and you don't want them knocking over things that are on fire and you just put it inside and light them and then you have a really beautiful candle holder for your house or, or for a gift. Mm -hmm.